hundred moles one to six, okay? Yeah. So, so na pagit naan yung seventh trumpet. The seventh trumpet is all about the enthronement. This is the main thing here. Enthronement of Christ. That's the main thing there. <clears throat> now, we are going to study the structure, the structure of the seventh trumpet. Okay? The structure of the seventh trumpet. Huh? This is uh, 11, 15 to 19. The structure of the uh, enthronement, the seventh trumpet. There are two structures here actually, okay? We'll, we'll go to the uh, first and then we we'll go to the second. Enthronement. Structure one, here it is. 1950 to 11. You have the enthronement. And then you have praise. And then you have the ark. In heaven, in heaven. Now there is an enthronement sex structure too. But let's deal with this first. This is, this one here is 15 to 19. Okay? 15 to 19. So open our Bibles to... 11, 15 to 19. Ah, uh, uh, je uh, Pastor Jerry, will you please read chapter 9, 11, verse 19? Uh, I'm sorry, chapter 11, verse 15. Okay, so Christ is enthroned. Okay, the revelation of the enthronement in heaven. It was introduced by the trumpet. Ba ba ba. Sometimes it's a drum roll. But here it's a trumpet. I don't know what sound. Ba 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 or whatever. You know, you know. So the seventh trumpet. Ba 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 ba, and heaven opens. Right? It's like seeing a drama. There is a curtain here. It's a curtain. And the angel comes. He puts the trumpet to his lips. Ba 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 ba. You know. It's a signal. It's a signal. Then the curtain parts. And there is Christ. Sitting on his throne. You get it? Do you see the picture here? It's a drama. Okay? It's a drama. Okay. After that, there is praise in heaven. Yeah. Basahin yung praise sa naron. Si John. Basahin yung praise. 16 to 18. Haba haba to. Pasensya ka na dyan. The twenty four elders who were seated in their throne before God said in their places to worship God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. 
So there is praise in heaven. Pag look-look ni Kristo sa kanyang trono, okay, the orchestra, ta da 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 Okay, then there is praise. Do you see the drama here? Can you see it? ta da 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 Praise. After the praise, another scene is revealed. Plang! Revelation. What is revealed? Verse uh, 19. Wala siyang antipara. Uh, Ryan, 19. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and with it his temple was in the heart of his holiness, and there came flashes of light, lightning from the wheels of fathers and of wheels and a cedar tree. Okay. So what we see is enthronement. And then he is praised, and then we see the Ark of the Covenant. The angels. The angels. And then the theophany. There is lightning. There's rumbling. There's thunder, boom, 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 boom. There's earthquake, and there's hail. Manifestation of glory. Okay? And the audience, di ba, ha? Lightning pa lang, takot ka na eh. Eh, babagsan ka pa ng hail. Hail. <laughs> Grabe, ha? Grabe. Yan. Yan. Now, what is the meaning of this? Because these are images. Image to. Image. Why does the seventh trumpet, why? Why does the seventh trumpet reveal this? And why is the revelation of Christ Alongside or over the ark. Why? Why? Di ba kung gandang tanong yan? Why? Anong, anong Tagalog ng why? Ha? Ha? Ano? 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 Bakit? Yan. Bakit? Bakit ano? Bakit ganyan? Di ba? Bakit ganyan? Huh? Di ba? Pero hindi ata nyo tinatanong yun eh. Kaya hindi ko sasagutin. Ha? 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 Tinatanong mo ba? Tinatanong mo? Opa. Talaga? Opa. Cross your heart? Okay. Tinatanong daw ni Josiah. Tinatanong ni Josiah. Okay. Exodus 29.42 This is in the uh, Old Testament, okay? So, in the Old Testament, they set up the tabernacle. It, this is goat's hair and curtain, okay? Natabunan yung sa loob. Okay? This is the outside of it. Okay? And there is the golden, the... Uh, the uh, basin of water. And here is the altar of sacrifice, right? Okay. So God said, for generations to come, this burnt offering 
is to be made regularly at the entrance of the tent. This is the tent of meeting. Okay? There's going to be burnt offerings here regularly at the entrance because this is the entrance. This is the entrance. And this is the east. Okay? The entrance faces the east because the east, the sun rises in the east. Right? Okay? So, the sacrifices will be done here regularly in front of the entrance of the tent of meeting. There, in the tent of meeting, I will meet you and speak to you. Okay? So where is God when he will meet with the people and speak to them? Where? Huh? Huh? Where? Where? Inside, right? He will be there. He will be there. Okay. Yeah. That is Exodus 29:42. Now, Numbers 7:89. Numbers 789. Okay. Okay. So Moses enters the tabernacle, right? He enters it, goes, comes here, and here is the ark. Okay, so Moses standing there. There's curtain. There's a curtain, and he's standing there before the Lord. Okay, and he hears a voice. He hears a voice. Where is the voice coming from? Behind him, to his right side, to his left. Where is the voice coming from? Huh? He heard the voice coming from between the cherubim. See, it was Moses who set up the Ark of the Covenant inside the Holy of Holies. He put it there. So he knows the, he knows the place. He knows the size. He knows where the two cherubims were. Okay? Ngayon, may curtain dito. Pero alam ni Moses kung saan narin yung dalawang cherubim. Di ba namin? Alam niya yan. Hindi lang nakikita, pero alam niya. Siya naglagay dun eh. Alam niya yan. Nung naroon siya, nagsasalita siya, may sumagot. <laughs> yung sagot ng gagaling sa gitna ng cherubim. Diyos ko, naroon ng Diyos. I will speak to you, Eka. In the tabernacle. Nung pumasok na siya, nung nagsasalita, nang gagaling sa gitna ng dalawang cherubim. Nakikita nyo? Nakikita nyo? Okay. Yan. Yan, mga text na yan. Mahalaga yan, ha? Okay, 1 Samuel 4.4. Oh, tama na. Tama na. San san naroon si Lord Almighty? And throne between the cherubim. Nung una, voice pa lang ang alam nila. Ngayon, enthroned na siya between the cherubim. Okay? Yeah. Second Kings 19.15. Cora, basahin mo. Lakasan. And Hezekiah prayed to the Lord, O Lord, God of Israel, and thrown between the cherubim. You and Lord are God over all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made heaven and earth. 
Yeah, amen. Okay. Si Hezekiah, he was, he was in the temple. He, pray, he went to the temple to pray. And what was his prayer? He was addressing God. Oh Lord, enthroned between the cherubim, you alone are king. You alone are Lord over all the kingdoms of the earth. Okay, yeah. So yan sa Old Testament, alam na nila na mayroong nakalukluk ibabaw sa ark. Okay? Hindi pa tayo tumarating nung revelation, ha? <laughs> Pero alam na nila may nakalukluk, ibabaw sa ark. Okay. Si Hezekiah, when he prays, he prays to the Lord God Almighty. Saan na ron? Enthroned between the cherubims. Ano ang kanyang karihan? Doon lang? Hari lang siya doon? Sa lugar na yan? 3 meters by 3 meters? No. He is king over all the earth. Naroon lang yung trono niya. Pero yung kingdom niya, yung dominion niya, over all the earth. Okay? Yan, yeah, ang ganda nun eh. Nang naari, eh si Kaya eh. Ha? Manalangin siya. You know, uh, may nangyari eh. May nangyari eh. Mapa. Okay? Israel. Assyria. Ang Assyria noon ang makapangyarihan ng aagaw ng mga bansa yan. Okay? So isang bansa na gusto lang agawin, Israel. Okay? Kinubkub nila ang Jerusalem. Sabi na, Oy, suko na! Alam nyo kung sino nagsuko sa amin yung Diyos ninyo. Huwag <laughs> na kayong maniwala kay Hezekiah. Kami mismo sinugo ng Diyos ninyo. Ang sabi ng Diyos ninyo, sumuko rin ako kayo. May si Hezekiah pumunta sa pumunta sa sa temple. Lord! <laughs> Amen? Lo, kasi naroon yan. Naroon yung trono eh. Lord! Ikaw, na nakalukluk, ibabaw sa dalawang kerubim, pakinggan mo kami at iligtas mo kami. Did God hear? Of course He heard. Okay? And God, who was sitting on his throne, psst, Isaiah, Isaiah was the prophet. Yeah. Ano pala? Isaiah. Isaiah. Uh, ano yung Lord? Ito yung mensahe. Kasi nananalangin niya yung mama. O ito yung mensahe para sa kanya. Okay? O ito na si Isaiah. Boshari, may mensahe ang Diyos. Sa kayo. Kasi napakinggan niya yung dalangin mo. Okay? Ano ang mensahe? Ha? Basahin natin. Karugtong ng mensahe. Karugtong ng mensahe. Ito, halimbawa, 20, 1920. Then Isaiah, son of Amos, sent a message to Hezekiah. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, 1920, Second Kings. I have heard your prayer Concerning Sennacherib, king of Assyria. This is the word that the Lord has spoken against him. The virgin daughter of Zion despises you and mocks you. The daughter of Jerusalem tosses her head as you flee. Who is it you? Who is it you have insulted and blasphemed? Against whom have you raised your voice? And lifted your eyes in pride against the Holy One of Israel. You have not insulted my people. You have insulted me. That's what the Lord is saying. You come down to verse 32. Come down to verse 32. Therefore, 
This is what the Lord says concerning the king of Assyria. He will not enter the city or shoot an arrow there. He will not come before it with shield or build a siege ramp against it. By the way that he came, he will return. He will not enter this city, declares the Lord. For I will defend this city and save it for my sake and for the sake of David, my servant. Hindi ka makakapasok dito, sabi niya. Wala kang pana mo na makakarating dito. <laughs> you will not shoot an arrow here. You will not enter my temple. Okay? Yeah. Because I will defend this city. Okay, 35. That night, the angel of the Lord went out and put to death 185,000 men in the Assyrian camp. When the people got up the next morning, there were dead people all over the place. <laughs> so, Sennacherib, king of Assyria, broke camp and withdrew. He returned to Nineveh and stayed there. <laughs> Para yung aso, yung buntot niya nakapumasok sa, sa puwet. Mabilis pa sa las 4. Umalis na. Ha? Umalis na siya. Kaya ba niya labana ng Diyos? Natulog lang sila isang gabi pag bangon. 185,000 na patay. Lalaban ka dyan? Ha? Isang anghel lang yan. Isang anghel. Eh kung nagpadala ng dalawa, just no mga bagay, no? <laughs> ha? Oh. Eh baka maski siya, dead ball siya, no? Yeah. Oh, anong nangyari? Kumaripas ng takbo yan. Yung ahari na yan. Okay, 37. One day, when he was worshipping in the temple of his god, Nisroch, his sons, Adramelech and Sharezer, cut him down with the sword. Lalabanan mo ang Diyos, the God of Israel, iinsultuhin mo, ha? <laughs> Ito ang dapat siyo. O, oh, di ba? O, oh, nalaman ni Isikaya yan. Sa naroon ang Diyos, nakaluklok siya. Ibabaw sa ark of the covenant. Okay? Ha? Huh? Yeah. Second Kings pa lang yan. Second Kings pa lang yan. Oh, punta tayo sa Psalm 81. Psalm chapter 80 verse 1. Okay. Uh, Hear us, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who sit where? and thrown between the cherubim, shine forth. Saan naroon yung shepherd of Israel? Nakaluklok where? Between the cherubim. Okay? Oh, 99 verse 1, Psalm 99 verse 1. The Lord reigns, let the nations tremble. He sits and thrown between the cherubim, let the earth shake. <laughs> Structure yan. A, B, A, B yan. Ha? So sa Old Testament, nagte-testify kung sino ang nakaluklok sa trono ng Diyos. At kung saan naroon ang trono na yan. Dahil ninais ng Diyos na bababa at tumahan sa gitna ng kanyang bayan. Kaya mahalaga yung tabernacle. Okay? Kasi sabi niya, doon ako titira. Ang nangyari, hindi lamang siya tumira doon. Dala pala niya yung trono niya. Doon niya dinala yung trono niya. 
ang Diyos ng Israel. Okay? Ang trono niya na roon sa loob ng tabernacle. Doon siya nakaluklok. Okay? At doon umpisa, bagamat hindi siya nakita ni Moses, kundi napakinggan lang, Moses heard a voice, right? Coming from between the two cherubims. Hindi niya nakita eh. Ha? Hindi niya nalaman eh. Pero nalaman ng mga sumunod ng henerasyon na ang trono pala ng Diyos naroon sa gitna at ibabaw ng mga cherubim. So ngayon, sa, sa Revelation, yan ang nakikita ni John. Yan ang hindi rin ama sa mga churches. Okay? Yeah? Oh, namamatay ang marami. Hirap, hirap ang marami. Ha? Ah? Pero ang sabi ng bayan, oy, huwag kayong tumingin dyan sa kung saan. Tingin kayo dito. Tingin dito. Okay? Tingin dito. Sa langit. Anong makikita nyo? Eh, makikita nyo. At yung mga mananampalataya dito, alam nila yung scripture sa Old Testament. Ang Diyos nakaluklok ibabaw sa cherubim. O, sabihin mo, o bakit si Kristo nakaluklok sa ibabaw ng cherubim? Ah, ang ibig sabihin nito, hindi tayo iniwan ng Diyos. Akala ko doon lang yun. Hanggang dito pala, nakaluklok, pero ang nakaluklok si Kristo. Yung Panginoon ng Iglesia, siya pala ang nakaluklok. Kaya pala, sasabihin niya, huwag kang matakot. Amen? Huwag kang matakot. Huwag kang mga ba- mahaba- mabahala. Hindi lang yang sinasabi ng kung sino-sino. Yung nagsasabi pala niyan, hindi lamang siya namatay at nabuhay na magmuli, siya pala ay nakaluklok sa trono. Amen? Nakaluklok pala sa trono. Hindi sinasabi yan ng basta kung sino, na anghel, ng kerubim. Yung palang nakaluklok sa trono, yan ang nagsasabi, huwag kang matakot. Josiah, huwag kang matakot. Amen? Ha? Ha, Ryan? Ha? Huwag kang matakot. Dahil yung sinusunod mo na Panginoon, nakaluklok sa trono. Ha? Tanaw niya lahat. Dahil siya nakaluklok, Okay. Paandar niya lahat yan. <laughs> ha? Kasi nagahari siya. Paano hari siya pero hindi niya alam yung nangyayari dyan? Ha? Pa- I'm sorry, gamitin ko yung paandar. No? Pero naintindihan niyo yun. No? Plano niya yan eh. Ha? Huh? Oh, no. Plano natin yan. Ah, ganun ba? O, hindi, sige. Amen. Sige. Ha? Oh, no. Huwag kang matakot. Ha? Isisang ka na ron. Narito ako sa trono. Ah, ganun ba, Lord? Yeah! Yan ang ibig sabihin ng drama na yan. Kaya nabuksan ng langit at upang ipakita sa iglesia na naghihirap, na minamartir, na pinaghahanting na yung Panginoon nila nakaluklok at siya pa rin yung Panginoon noon pa dahil si Yeso Kristo siya pa rin kahapon, ngayon at magpakailanman palagpakan natin siya. Amen. Praise God. 
So, yun ang unang structure. Ha? Yan. Yan, o. Oh. Okay? So, yung nakaluklok, ibabaw between the cherubims. Okay? Ay ang Panginoong Jesus. Nagahari siya. Alam niya ang nagaganap sa iglesia. Okay? Alam niya. <coughs> he knows. He's enthroned between the cherubim in heaven. And he knows. He's reigning, ha? Huh? Nagahari yan. He knows what is happening in the churches. Revelation 1, 19. Write therefore what you have seen, what is now and what will take place later. The mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my right hand and of the seven golden lampstands is this. The seven churches are the angels of the seven churches. And the seven lampstands are the seven churches. To the angel of the church in Ephesus write, these are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and who walks among the seven golden stands. He's walking around. I know your deeds. Amen? He's walking around. He's observing. He's supervising. He's looking at your notes. Maybe there's a picture there. When I was, when I was in seminary, I had a, uh, a Chinese roommate. Lalaki yung siyempre. Okay? So, uh, whenever I, there were times when I would come in, see, library time, library, was until 10 o'clock in the evening. After 10 o'clock, you return the books, okay? Library will close. So I went up to my dorm, upstairs. Okay? I walk up to my dorm, like this, and there are two beds. One his bed, the other one is mine. Okay? And when I walk in the room, I would see my roommate, right? Uh, with an open Bible. So I said, wow, spiritual, huh? Yeah, wow. So I feel guilty. I'm down there in the library reading a book. He's up here reading the Bible and praying. So I go to my bed and I kneel down. I pray also. <laughs> well, one night before 10 o'clock, I go up to my room. And he had, he had open Bible. Okay? And in the open Bible was a picture. It was his sweetheart. <laughs> He's walking, Jesus. I know your work. I know the hardships you're going through. I know the trials. I know those people are making hard for you. I know. I know everything. Okay, repent. Be good. Follow me. Overcome, right? And in the end he said, Behold, I am coming back and I have my rewards with me. Huh? To give to everyone according to his work. Amen? Amen. He knows. He is enthroned, but he is looking. Amen? Okay? Wag man lupay-pay. Do not seem like you. Nobody is paying attention to you. Huh? You are cooking alone in the kitchen. I am alone here. Nobody pays it. No, he knows. Amen? Amen? He knows. Hey, you're mopping the floor. He knows. Okay? 
You're out there in your outstations. Ha? Nauulanan. Napuputikan. Uy, di ako pinapansin ni Pastor Junggo. He knows. Amen? He knows. When he comes, he will reward. Ha? He will reward. There will be time. Hindi magmamadali yung reward. Okay, oh Ryan, oh Ryan sayo. Ah, uh, teka, meron pa isa ate. Hindi ka doon. Okay? Personal. Ryan Valera, punta ka doon. Oh, malala mo yung araw ganito. Oh, yan ang reward mo diyan. Nung araw ganito, amen. Jesus will pay attention to you individually. I know, sabi niya. Amen.